Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're heading to the beach. We're going to Progresso. We just got off the bus. I was gonna film the beginning of the, the bus ride, but as you guys can see from these scenes, uh, literally as we kind of walked out of the house, the bus was passing by. You know, we had to get on. I tried to record what I could, but basically um, it was packed like sardines in there. And um, you know, we barely got on that bus, but yeah, I apologize for the noise. Seems like there's some uh, construction work up ahead. I'll continue this after the construction work. So yeah guys, sorry, like I was saying, there's a lot of construction going on out here. I haven't been out here in a few months, but there's a lot of construction going on out here. Um, again, this is the, the beach. Everybody is wanting to come out here, so you already know the deal. There's more noise and construction coming up, all right? So I'll pick it up in a second. All right guys, so what? Tape four, right? <laughs> sorry about all the interruptions, but um, as you guys are going to see for the, the rest of the day, we're just going to be hanging out at the beach, right? <laughs> we're just going to be hanging out at the beach. We're just going to have a little bit of a little picnic and um, enjoy the afternoon. It's uh, Saturday. Um, it's uh, December. What, what day is it? December. Okay. Well, early December. It's early December. So it's nice and cool out. It's too cold to get in the water. That's for sure. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. But yeah, like you can see there's construction, there's all kinds of stuff going on everywhere. They're making this place awesome. So hopefully by the time you come visit, there's going to be a lot more construction done and all that good stuff. But anyway, so like I was saying, we're just going to come out here and look at the construction back there. So yeah, like I was saying, we're just coming out here for a quick little picnic. You know, spend uh, Saturday afternoon out here in the sun on the beach, enjoying uh, our weekend so we can relax a little bit and... Uh, kind of like disconnect for a little bit so let me tell you a little bit about the bus the bus was 21 pesos per person so about a dollar and 15 cents a dollar to, you know a dollar per person to come out here and that's uh, basically it you know we got on the bus um, standing room only and um, 30 to 45 minutes later BAM we're here so all right I'll see you guys in the sand all right guys same old, same old at the beach. There's obviously a little less people because it's uh, winter instead of summer. But pretty much uh, same old, same old. Been out here a billion times. Not bad for a four dollars, four dollar one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Seventy-five pesos for a nice, uh, nice Italian little red wine, nice and uh, yummy and fruity. Not, you know, usually um, when you when you have some red wine, it makes you pucker up. It's so kind of like tart or what have you. No, not at all. It's definitely a red wine, but very nice and smooth. Yeah, check this out. So. We brought ourselves a bunch of little goodies. Look at this, we got some figs. By the way, so like this whole thing of figs. Dates, I'm sorry, dates. All right, what kind of a fucking chef am I? Anyways, um, all these dates, uh, like a whole thing of these cost around uh, 14, 16 pesos, again, under a dollar. And um, yeah, we got ourselves a little bit of uh, some toast. I brought some brie, we've already refined some brie. A little bit of, uh, uh, some uh, salami or whatever, I don't know. Got a few goodies in here. The yellow kid, do I bust them out? Ready? You hungry? Yeah, she's hungry. She's always hungry. Here, we found some great. Got some hummus. <laughs> got an apple. What else we got? We got... Look at this, some of this. Again, this is like two bucks, two dollars for this. You know, 
few cents. 50 cents. This is a few bucks. This is, this is a lot of brie though, but this is like three, four bucks, four bucks, I think, four bucks. Five bucks maybe, four or five. And uh, we got some chips. And we got some fun and we got the beach. Look at that. What else? One more do you want, huh? We also got a few more other goodies. They're just somewhere in the bag. Like a blunt. Did I say a blunt? I said a blunt. I'm not gonna say I'm not saying we're gonna smoke it, but you never know. That's it, we're just here at the beach. Now you can definitely rent a table or rent a chair, but it's like for what? It's free to just sit here and um, have some wine and enjoy. You know, some in the States it's uh, in a lot of places it's illegal to even uh, you know bring your own alcohol or anything like that out here. No problem. feels amazing to be able to live in a place where in the middle of December well early December December nonetheless you can come out to the beach and uh, still get a suntan definitely gonna get a suntan I was actually expecting it to be colder you know for whatever reason I just thought coming to the beach is gonna get be colder just from my experience living on the west coast but then you know as soon as we got off the bus and especially as soon as we got on the beach and walking on the sand and out here uh, you quickly realize uh, it's hot and, uh, and there's people swimming in the water and, and I'm also thinking to myself, man, I should have brought a bathing suit. I really thought it was going to be colder. Um, it's probably going to be cold, but I don't know. It could get hot enough where I could want to get in the water if I get hot enough and sweaty enough. So, yeah, you know, now for her, you know, she's been out here born, born and raised all her life and it's too cold for her to go in that water. Just like when I lived in Miami, it was impossible. There's no way you could tell me to go in the water in, uh, in December or January. But, um, but again, after living on the West Coast and being in a real cold weather climate, it's like, eh, you know, this is uh, nice. But again, it's nice. It's not, it's still, I'm barely breaking the sweat. It's just nice enough to get some sun. I can feel it on my skin. Definitely. My white ass, you know, pasty white skin. And that's it. We're just really enjoying a nice, beautiful day here at the beach. Having a little picnic, you know. Um, so we're in Progresso Beach. And uh, over there is um in malecon right is that what it is and then uh yeah so that all that is in malecon you could probably see it out in the distance oh we are in malecon oh behind us is in malecon what the fuck am i talking about so behind us this whole thing is in malecon and then up ahead that whole area that's like a bridge that leads to the port all the way at the end and you know something so if you live close to a port or a port city you understand and you know where why the port is uh located all the way out there but yeah same thing as in miami you know the port is like a huge bridge a huge uh, viaduct type thing that takes you all the way to the end to uh the port and that's where it is oh that's where all the action happens over there and then you just see a bunch of trucks coming back and forth and all that good stuff but yeah you know it's uh it's nice you know and just uh, nice to be out here on the beach enjoying life I asked her, I go, hey, is it okay to wear this hat out here? And she's like, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, whatever. It's like, it's not the same. Try wearing this hat in the U.S. Huh? What do you think? Well, I'm sure a lot of people do, but yeah, whatever. You know me. All right, well, I'm going to enjoy a little bit of the beach here. I'm going to have a little bit more wine. Is this one? Have a little bit more wine out here. Get a little bit of uh, some brie action going on. And some apples and, uh, you know, do all that uh, fancy stuff. Here, hold on. Let me let me let me put my, my there you go. Now it's fancy. See? Right? <laughs> we fancy out here. We fancy. <sighs> fancy. Look at all the birds congregating around. Uh, they're all like planning a. They're, they're all planning a. a Attack. Look at them. Look at these greedy bastards. They're all just there, ready to pounce. The moment's notice.
this chorizo over here. This tamaguchi or whatever it's called. <laughs> it's really good. It's good stuff. Tangamanga. And these and these right here, we just thought it was regular toast. It has sugar on it. And mantequilla. And butter. And then we got that 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 fake brie. Oh, let me get a little date. Let me get a date from my date on the beach. How sweet and gooey these things are. It's like biting into a little, it's like biting into candy. It's like sugar, it's like pure sugar. So good. Mm. Okay, it's just like, just eat in there somewhere. I'm such a messy boy, such a messy kid. Ta-da! <laughs> Horrible. I know. Oh, what's that? A cloud. Now it's like nice and cool. See, this is what I thought the weather was gonna be like. Nice and cool. Oh man. It's, it's nice to have that sun so close to you. I remember living in Seattle and it would be like June and you still had the sun out and you'd still be freezing your ass off. I really, I really have it this way. When you're out here in the middle, middle of the, uh, January, and you have, uh, you have that nice sun actually giving you some nice heat. That's right. All right. Back to wine drinking. All right. Back to, back to what we came out here for. All right. Oh, thank you. So look, this is the brie right here that I kind of butchered a little bit. So this brie is uh, actually made here in um, in Mexico. This is a Mexican brie, and um, the only French brie that we could find wasn't necessarily had like seasonings and shit. And I want a regular brie. But anyway, so this brie is all right, but to me, I'm used to more like a creamy brie, a soft brie. We're out here on the beach, and um, you know, it's, it's it's it has more the consist consistency of a mozzarella. It's pretty good. It's all right. I wouldn't call it brie, but this is like barely any kind of like cheese or any kind of anything out here. So to her, you know, this is like the first time she's ever really had the, the whole experience. And then, you know, we just out here, you know, doing the whole French connection thing or something, right? Is it French? You know, just pretending we're hanging out in the Mediterranean, you know, having a little wine, sipping a little, sipping a little wine, having a little cheese, having a little apple slice. You know that whole thing of uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that where you get uh, you know when you're drinking wine and uh, you sample cheese and uh, you know you sample different little snacks um, as again I don't know if you guys know some of you guys might already know this but um, the, the reason for all that is uh, because it's like again if you have a little piece of apple and then you have a little bit of, of wine it changes a profile in your mouth it changes the flavoring in your mouth you have a little bit of um, of cheese it does the same thing um, you have a little bit of uh, potato um, you have a little bit of um, meat you know whatever it is that you have um, um, it always changes a flavor profile with the wine which is you know something really nice and uh, and you know welcome all the time so um, I don't know it's really nice it's really nice I haven't had the little wine tasting uh, thing here in a long time so this is how I relax you know just talking to you guys on the camera filming enjoying this is how she relaxes look what she just did and like oh my god in the same time that i was talking look what she made <laughs> look at that it's beautiful nah. we're not even half we're like yeah we still got a while we're gonna finish the bottle before we head out right hey right, salut salut It's a nice time to be at the beach. Uh, again, it's not too hot. I know it's not too windy. I know you guys can hear me. That's why I'm talking to you guys. It's not too loud. And you know, usually again, during the summer, there's music playing everywhere. There's a lot more people out here. It's definitely very hot, definitely windier. Um, it's kind of like a perfect day out here. It's kind of nice. It's, it's a really a beautiful, beautiful day. 
and um, even though back home um, by the time we get back to the city the middle of the city um, it's actually cold you know we were having like 60 65 degree nights um, it's in the low 80s and again even now um, I don't know what the weather is and it's 2:45 uh, p.m. right here so you know if you know anything 2 45 p.m. Uh, that's pretty much the hottest point of the day and it says uh, what does it say for degrees wise it's 80 degrees Wow you can't beat that that's uh, phenomenal and uh, look at these guys over there So, you know, there's a lot of people out there that even like uh, living on a beach city like Miami or what have you, sometimes coming out to the beach is something that actually costs a lot of money. You see here, everything, you know, we're having a nice picnic, you know, we got Brie, we got the wine, we got the whole freaking nine. And yet, we're, you know, with the bus ride out here, the whole nine, and uh, we should probably spend 10, 15 bucks, 10 to 15 bucks tops. You know, and uh, we're having a most beautiful, amazing afternoon, right? Like, for real, for real. I love it. That's like a major, 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 major plus to, like, living out here. Again, you know, it's a cost of living, which uh, just helps and enhances um, the quality of life. For real. All right, let's keep enjoying that beach. All right, I'm dipping my toes in the water. It's kind, it's cold. It is cold, but it's not that cold. It's all right. It's actually pretty all right. Actually, I, I feel like I should have brought my bathing suit, so I, I would have gotten the water. I definitely would have gotten in the water. I feel like I really want to get in the water, and I kind of feel like, damn, I should have brought my bathing suit. So that's not so bad because I'm sitting. I'm right here in the water. Look, check it out. And it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. I, I'm. I'm a big uh, pussy cat when it comes to, to, to cold water. I'm not a big fan. And out here, it's actually really nice. So it's, it's not that bad. Now, when you get out of the water, all soaking wet, you're probably gonna freeze out here. It's probably gonna be really cold, that's for sure. But it's not that bad. You know, let me, let me dry off here a little bit, actually. Let me walk a little bit down the beach by myself. Let me have a little walk down the beach by myself. But yeah, you know, it's uh, it's really nice to be able to come out here. Like I've said a bunch of times already, it's the middle of winter. I got the sun right in front of my eyes, like right here, and it's not that bad. It's really, it's fucking, it's, it's beyond perfect. If you could, if you could, uh, yeah, if there was like a description for perfect, this would be it right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Again, it's we just saw it was 80 degrees um, weather-wise. This is like pretty much the hottest point in the day. I'm walking on the beach. The water is still, not, it's not freezing. It's actually warm enough where I could take a swim, no problem. And uh, yeah, again, it's just, uh, it's a beautiful thing out here. Look, someone built some sandcastle stuff out here. Look, check this out. No, it's, uh, the, the walls are getting breached by the ocean here. Look at that. Not bad, huh? Pretty cool. But yeah, let me, uh, let's walk back to the missus here. So I guess, you know, this is kind of like a little bit of an update on the weather situation too, because ever since I made that episode talking about the weather, um, it started getting colder, a lot colder. And I said I was gonna make another episode talking about the weather. And so I was like, you know what, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, you know, this could be a really good update for the weather, even though um, I might make one in the future. But, you know, again, it, it, it's, it's cool enough. You know, it stays around like the 70s, the 80s. Um, during winter it, it goes down as uh, cold as like 60 60 degrees 65 degrees at night I don't use the AC at night I just use the fan if and then open the windows if that and then that's it you come out to the beach you can actually swim at the beach so I said uh, I you know again in the previous video about the weather I said that probably not a good idea well it is a good idea I got my again I'm, 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 I'm I want to get in there I, I literally I don't have uh, the proper attire to get in there, but as I'm actually going deeper, it's actually warm. 
And again, this is why people come out here, why you snowbirds, you know, a lot, but any, most people from cold weather climates, you know, come out to, to a place like Florida or Mexico because it's, uh, the water's warm even in the middle of winter. So, very nice, very nice. So, all right, well, you know, I'm gonna see if I can dry off a little bit, hang out here, check out the sun, it's a beautiful thing. All right. Enjoy the beach a little bit and uh, we're finishing up the bottle and we're gonna be heading out as soon as we finish that bottle. Look, I don't know if you guys can see it all the way out in the distance. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in, okay? But all the way out there in the distance, you see the banana boat, the guy in the banana boat there? So I asked Christian, hey, how much you think it is to ride on that banana boat? She said 80 pesos. So, you know, this is, so that's 40 bucks. I mean, four bucks, $4. To ride on that banana boat. Oh yeah, you better believe I'm gonna ride on that banana boat. Not today, but we're definitely gonna ride on that banana boat. Even if it's double that price, definitely worth it. I mean, come on. What's that, eight bucks? And, and the guy just, he's been all day long. Coming all the way from the beach, you know, coming all the way across, taking you all across the beach on the banana boat. Look at these freaking pelicans. I know, they're not pelicans. <laughs> Look at the pelican fly. Look at the pelican fly. Anyways, uh, I see the lights already turning on behind me, so the lights do turn on and uh, sunsets are already uh, quickly approaching us. I know it's behind those buildings and stuff, but hey, it is what it is. I think we're going to start packing it up here. I'm already running low on battery and uh, um, I know, I know. We're not leaving. We're not leaving. Don't worry. I just want to make sure that we know, you know, make sure we got everything packed up or eaten. You know, I think most of it is already eaten, right? Yeah, you have to look at the dollar, right? I'm like, hey, uh, I go to her, hey, so do you, I'm not about to eat this, you know what I mean? Like, so, you know, so I don't, well, we don't throw it away. She's like, hey, what are you doing with that? She, again, by the way, in her tiny little size here, she eats more than I do, if you can believe that, all right? I weigh 205 pounds and she weighs 95 pounds. <laughs> Literally, we did the math earlier today as well. We know the exact numbers, and uh, she literally eats more than me. I mean, all the whole picnic thing, you know. <laughs> Look, we had all, all the bread, a bag of chips, this hummus. Now, the hummus was halfway already. She ate the half. <laughs> she ate the, the previous half, and then uh, we had all these uh, meats. They don't, are they gonna eat those or no? Yeah. I can't have any, man. <laughs> no, but hey. Happy wife, right? Happy, happy wife, happy life. And uh, she's a uh, very easy, guaranteed. And uh, she doesn't ask for much, just like I don't ask for much. She just asks to get fed. Now, originally when I was dating her, I thought that uh, you know feeding her wouldn't be a problem. I thought it was just gonna be a you know bag of chips a day or something. Uh huh. Uh huh. She eats a lot, but again, not complaining, just uh, enjoying life here. So, oh no, drop my dates. They're fine. But yeah, you know, as you guys can see, um, we're already uh, inebriated, or at least I am. And uh, I'm just gonna enjoy the, the beach a little bit more uh, before I get more inebriated. In fact, let me start cleaning up before this gets any worse. The dates survived, okay? No, you can't look at them, all right? You can't look at them, but they're fine, they're fine. I'm gonna go clean them up now. down the beach and we ended up here on the dock. You see? And look, some live music playing. So 
we're here uh, at night and in Malecon. Let me just show you around. There's like a walkway, walks you all through there, and then you can't see nothing. And then there's like more stuff over there. I'm gonna try and film as much as I can, but I'm running out of battery. Look at my whale. Love my whale. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. All right, we're gonna keep walking a little bit and I'm gonna see what I can film. I'm running out of battery, I can't see anything. So, um, but this is just a little bit of a bonus behind the scenes. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna play this before. I don't know when I'm playing this, but uh, we've been filming all day. Um, I know, you can't see anything. Forget it. Never mind. All right, guys. As you guys can see, the sun's already pretty much all the way down. Let me see if I can show you guys a little bit of a 360 view. See, so you guys, maybe you guys can see. Maybe it comes through on the camera. I think it does. It looks pretty. Hey, who's that? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's already that time of the episode. It's time to get the hell out of here. We're already starting to pack up <laughs> and starting to get ready to leave. Sad day. But unfortunately, we're already running out of uh, vodka. Vodka. The fuck? Wine. Some good wine. <laughs> but yeah, we got a little bit left. We're about to kill this bottle. We're about to kill that blunt. We already killed all the food. <laughs> and that's it. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's already it's already time to, to go. I mean, the sun's already about to... You know, the sun's already down. It's getting dark. Um, even though there's going to be some lights, I feel like it's going to be really dark out here. So... All right, guys, thanks again for watching. You already know the deal. You guys are the best. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys liked today's episode. I hope you guys liked today's uh, content. And you already know, uh, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. And uh, more importantly than anything else, stay awesome. See you guys manana. Bye. Thank you.